Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, ADA is moving up a little bit. Um, I did tell you that I wouldn't trade this to the, on the long side aggressively. Yeah, the, the orange reversal area should be a warning because it indicates less, I would say, less probability or at least higher risk um, about this pattern, trading it to the upside. And I think we see that now because we are moving up in a very corrective fashion. Now we can give the bulls may be the benefit of the doubt as long as we're holding the 35.5 cent level. That would be the 78.6 retracement of this move to the upside because we might we might get, but that is at this stage pure speculation. Let me actually check that. Yeah, it's very it's unlikely, but obviously what what might happen is um, oops is that we get something like this wave one to the upside two, three, four, five, and then we had here an A wave, an overshooting B wave, and a C wave down um, in this one, two setup. But that is nothing that I would put a lot of confidence in at this stage. You know? It might even be finished at C wave if it's running flat, and then we could still move higher from here. So yeah, we can give the bulls the benefit of the doubt at the moment, but, and that's why we introduced the orange support areas, because any upside from here is in my opinion less probable yeah which doesn't mean it can't happen but it just means it's there's a few problems with this uh structure to the downs that it basically came down too low to be let's say high probability for a turnaround high yeah that, to, to show and indicate a high probability for a turnaround um it broke even briefly below the 88.7 percent fib level yeah at the moment i'm counting this as a possible one two setup or a b setup which could still result in a rally to the roughly 42 cent area in the first place um but of course it needs to hold it needs to hold yesterday's low which was down here at 35.15 cents so that's sort of uh, what we're looking at here um at the moment the view is still that we let me just change that uh, degree here the view is still that we eventually come down into this support area. That would be my preferred option, yeah, um, because we rallied off the December lows in a five wave move to the upside in a wave one. We came down. Alternatively, we can say the wave two was finished here, but the move down didn't take long enough time wise. And also, it was not ending really in this region here which is based on the FIP levels, the most likely support area for a wave two. So at the moment, I am primarily looking at the idea, and that's what I communicated in basically all of last, all the videos last week, that this year was just an A wave of a larger correction. This year could have been a B wave, or and this will be a C wave of this wave two. Now, within this scenario, you also have two scenarios, with one being, we come down straight away in this C wave or that this B wave actually is going to sit up here and yeah, that we get basically a higher B wave in ABC. This would be, I wouldn't be surprised because so far the move to the upside here looks impulsive. So it could just have been the A wave of a larger B wave coming down now in a B wave of a larger B wave and still get a C wave of B. Again, that's why I often say trading a B wave is risky. So that's also why I highlighted this in orange, but that should be clear from the last videos. So anybody trading this on the long side, be aware of um, still increased downside pressure, downside risk, it came down too low. And um, I, at least I wouldn't trade it aggressively. Yeah, that's sort of just my view. Um, of course it can turn around here. Yeah, it's just hovering above support. And this is also a support area. Yeah, the green one is actually the 38.2% FIP level at 34.7 cents of the larger cycle. So it's a quite a substantial one. And we found support here twice. Okay. Um, so someone asked me yesterday in the comments, why would I forecast further downside for ADA if I forecast upside for Bitcoin? Well, first of all, for Bitcoin as well, of course, there is no guarantee that this support area is holding, okay? But Bitcoin has much more space left to invalidate this particular scenario of a one, 
to set up and then a rally to the upside. But of course it can go down. That's why we have the alternative here that the rally to the upside was already finished here. Okay, um, the rally of November's low. Now you need to understand they are Bitcoin, Ethereum are working, no Bitcoin and Cardano are running in different scenarios, in different wave patterns. So if Bitcoin goes up, surely ADA could go up as well. But if Bitcoin goes up impulsively, it could mean that ADA just goes up correctively and will eventually come down. But ultimately, I would also expect Bitcoin to get into this green support region between 17,567 and 20,377. Now, what we don't know yet is how exactly this will play out. Um, but this is the area where I will scale in for the long term. Um, but yeah, surely Bitcoin can rally impulsively and then come down. Bitcoin can also come down and lose the support area. Key is to understand these pivot points and if they are lost, then we move into another scenario. If Bitcoin rallies now in this fifth wave, I wouldn't be surprised if ADA does the, the higher B wave, but it would most likely just be corrective and it would then probably come down into this area here. Yeah. So that's sort of what I'm following. Um, the correction that ADA did so far is in my opinion not sufficient for a wave two. I still have an alternative wave two here, but then again, if this is another one, two setup of then the third wave to the upside, this has also come down too low. So I would be, I would just be a bit careful here and at least not be surprised if it breaks down. So that should talk, tell you a lot about the, the possible risk involved here, but it's a valid trend reversal area. It's just that we had some more <laughs> and we have some more that look a little bit more likely to work out than the ADA one. Yeah, That's why we put the risk levels on here now with the uh, different colors. Yeah? And then if I'm looking at the pattern, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, anybody who doesn't see that this is a three wave move, I don't know, it, it, at the moment it is. I mean, it could, as I said, could become a one, two setup with an A overshooting B wave and a C wave down, but then the overshooting B wave went a bit too high. Um, yeah, we, we, we will see, I guess, uh, short term, very short term, the trend is up, yeah, higher highs, higher lows, but then here again, this came down quite a low, uh, quite a lot. It's about to uh, break below that low, which was here at 35.9 cents. So I think we need a bit more, um, a bit more information here, but for now the support is holding. You know, it's just not, it's just not the most, I would say the most attractive or the most probable long trade setup for me. Okay, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.